when I'm working with acoustic guitars, uh, I usually make a decision. Um, is it going to be a harmonic instrument? In other words, am I more interested in the chords and the chord changes? Or is it going to be a rhythmic part? Am I more interested in, in the rhythm that the pick is making when it hits the strings? Now, I'm, I'm working on a song by uh, my dear friend Dave Huff, and the, and the acoustic felt to me like it was more rhythmic than harmonic. So I, I decided to try and make it maybe 70% rhythmic and then have it contribute to the chord changes about uh, 30%. And I wanted to show you this because I think a lot of times we don't have a plan for acoustic guitars. And uh, being a guitar player, I, I, I know when I'm playing along on a song, um, I know that sometimes I'm a rhythmic, rhythm instrument and sometimes I'm percussion. So let me show you this guitar. I've already worked on it a little bit. Let's put it in the mix. Okay, so it's kind of hiding back there. Um, I chose this because it's one of my favorite EQs. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't have a clue how it works, but I like the way it sounds. So watch this. So I took out some of the parts that, some of the sound, I, I took out a part of the sound but I've already got a lot of other instruments competing for that same space. So you can see we're leaning towards getting that the sound of the pick on the strings. And uh, I fell in love with this console at, at Blackbird, and uh, this is kind of similar. It gives me that vibe. You can see I'm adding a lot of, uh, what is that? I can't tell. <laughs> I'm adding a lot of 10K. Okay, you can see I'm adding a lot of 10K and um, a little bit of compression. I'll leave this up for a second so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, let's put that in the mix. Getting closer, getting closer. Now, I... I want to show you this plugin because uh, you don't have to spend a gazillion dollars. This plugin is done by a guy that's just very musical. I love his work. Um, so what we're doing is we're emulating. Uh, I'm not sure what we're emulating. Uh, this timing thing makes me think it's a little bit of a Fairchild kind of thing. Uh, so I've got the compression set. This section here for this particular plugin, I think, is where the money is. It's a this is the sweetest kind of kind of distortion, um, and then um, this, this timbre control really adds a lot. So this is without it, with it. So you see, we've we've changed the groove a little tiny bit, but let's hear it in the track. This is where I would put it in the mix. Kind of cool, huh? So you can see, you can see the rhythm part that we're uh, we're, we're we're having contribute to the groove. And uh, because it was played so amazingly, all the Nashville cats are just beautiful feel and beautiful timing. So we utilize that timing and feel to add a little groove to our song with a guitar. All right.